Hi everybody, welcome to Music with Meg. I'm just going to quickly show you today how to put finger tape on your stringed instrument because next week on my violin school we're going to be learning our finger placements. Now guitarists have frets up and down to show them where to place their fingers on the strings but on violins, violas, cellos and double basses we don't have any frets. So it can be quite difficult for beginners to figure out where they need to place their fingers. So when we're starting out, we tend to put tape down on our instruments, which will help us to recognize where to put our fingers. And then after a while, you will get used to the sound of the notes that you're listening for, and your muscle memory will kick in, and you can take the tape off. But I'd recommend putting finger tape on your instrument because it'll help you progress a lot quicker. Now I'm going to show you today on my viola, but it's exactly the same method for the violin. Now before you begin, you are going to need a pencil, some tape. Now you can buy finger tape specifically for fingerboards in music stores and online, but today I'm going to show you using yellow washi tape. And you're also going to need a tuner. So if you've got an app on your phone, great or you can use a digital tuner. So, the first thing you need to do is make sure that your instrument is in tune. So let's tune all of the strings one at a time. Once you've tuned your strings, we're gonna take the middle string, so you could use your A string, and we're going to figure out where our first finger needs to go. So your first finger is going to go a tone up from the open string. So if you're starting on A, a tone up from A is B. So place your first finger down, keep an eye on your tuner, and when you get your B in tune, you can stop. Experiment with moving your finger up and down to get the placement right. Once you've found your B, you're going to take your pencil, make a mark on the fingerboard. Try and get it at the centre of where your finger is. There's our first finger position. So now you're going to take your tape and cut off a length. And now we're going to slide our tape up the instruments. It can be a bit fiddly this bit. So we're going to hook our tape under the strings, slide it up, and when you get to your finger mark, you're going to stop. Great, now make sure that it is in a straight line from your scroll down to the finger tape. We don't want the finger tape to be at an angle because it should be in the same place for all of the strings. So before you stick it down, just double check that all of those notes are in tune. So on the A string, your first finger should be B. On the D string, it'll be E. On the G string, it'll be A. And on the E string, you'll have F sharp. If you've got a viola like me, the C string will be D. If any of those strings aren't in tune, then just adjust your tape to make sure that it's in a straight line. That should sort it out. There you go. Now once you've got your tape in the right place, you can stick it down around the back of your instrument. You can trim it with scissors to make sure that it fits correctly. Now let's find the second finger placement. So with the second finger, we're going up another tone. So on the A string, if this was B, we want C sharp. So again, play around with your second finger placement until you get C sharp. Once you're happy, draw a pencil mark, find your tape, and we'll do the whole thing again. Once you've popped your tape down, check that it's in tune across all of the strings. So on the A string, 
we'll have C sharp. On the D string, we will have F sharp. On the G string, we will have B. On the E string, you'll have G sharp. And on the C string, we'll have E. If any of those notes aren't in tune, adjust your tape and keep trying. And then once you're happy, you can stick it down around the instrument. Finally, we need to do our third finger. Now the third finger is a semitone up from the second finger. So the tape will be much closer this time. So on your A string, your third finger will be D. Now your third finger is always an octave higher than the string below, so you can check it against the D string. Once you're happy, draw your pencil line and let's take that one down too. There you go. Check that it's in tune across all of the strings. Now check all three. And there you have it, you've got your first finger, second finger and third finger tapes. So you're all ready to go and begin learning your finger placements. Thank you so much for watching everybody and I'll see you next time, bye!